Congratulations, you have a hardware wallet. That's great. You're doing self-custody of your Bitcoin. Fabulous. Where's your 24-word seed phrase? Where's your backup? Because if you lose these guys, break them, get them stolen, or they just malfunction, you need to have the 24-word seed phrase somewhere safe. Where'd you put it? Because without it, your Bitcoin is gone. So this episode, we're going to talk about this. This is a solution. Hey guys, welcome to the Wander Learn Show. This is Francis Tapon. I'm going to be reviewing this seed plate by CoinKite. CoinKite, if you have seen my other video, which I'll link up over there, they made also the uh, this cold card, which I already re reviewed. So now I'm going to review their seed plate and we're going to see how effective it is at storing your seed and how easy it is to use. I shot a short little video of trying to do it with a Phillips screwdriver and a hammer and just trying to see if I could just use like a screwdriver and just hit it with a hammer and see if it would work. How's that look? Do it one more time. In the same pot. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're going to try to make a little dent in this seat plate with a regular drill. See what kind of success we have. This is probably not advisable, but... Experimenting here. Hmm. Well, there's a mark there. There's a mark. But it's very slight. Right, so would that mark actually survive a, a, a fire? You know, it probably not Need survive. Money. So yeah. I think we need to go a little deeper maybe. Mm -hmm. Or do you think we can use a, a drill bit and then actually bang it with an, a no. hammer? No, but... Yeah, it's not going to work because it starts to slide. I mean, you could do this with a... holding it in a vise with a, with a uh, mounted drill. Mm -hmm. um, for precision, but it's it's going to slide around too much trying to do it by hand. Got it. We're using a 764th drill. Uh-oh. Slipping. It's interesting. It looks so well it, 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 it's... There we go. How's that look? It's just that very first bit where it's likely to wiggle around after you get a little tiny speck on there. It's easy to hold it in place. Right. If you want to be 100% sure, in theory, you should be using something that looks like this. These little guys you can get on Amazon or you can also get them on... Uh, CoinKite's website. They cost about $10. You don't need two of them, but one of them is good enough. We've got our hammer. I feel intense violence here, so I feel like I, I need to let out my aggressions. Um, I'm going to punch out my seed phrase here so that everybody can see it, and the first person who watches this video will become a millionaire because I've got so much Bitcoin flowing out of myself, and I'm just going to put it here for the whole public to see. Yeah, I was so lucky. Don't worry, I have it already backed up somewhere else. So this is just a test to figure out. So we're just going to hit some random numbers. All right, so you, you put your, your thing basically where you want to hit it, and then you just give it a good whack. And you can see I just knocked it right there. It's really not that obvious, frankly, um, unless you zoom on it close. So I'll get some B-roll for that. The plate itself is a two millimeters thick and it is measures three inches by five inches, which is in centimeters about seven and a half and 12 and a half centimeters or so. I mean, these guys are Canadians. They should be working on the metric system, right? And yet they're making this a three by five inch. Who uses inches except for idiots in America? Like me. No, I prefer the metric system, frankly. Oh. Well, I didn't really hit that hard, but it still made a dent. I guess I could do it again, right? Let's find out if we can just do it again. Yeah. The second time, I feel it go in there nicely. Oh. Let's do it again. Come on. There we go. This is fun. Banging for Bitcoin. 
Now let's do another experiment. I want to see how easy it is to hit two letters right in a row, the same letter, to see if it doesn't bleed out to the others. Well, that's one. And then right next to it, two. How about that? Put two little marks side by side and they don't bleed out or break or go into the other letter. You could easily bang out your whole 24 seed phrase onto this seed plate with minimal effort. And here's the thing, this thing only costs about $48 if you get it from the links down below. Yes, there are affiliate links, but the normal price is about 60 bucks. So uh, if you use that link, you'll get it for $48. And there are seed plates that are definitely fancier than this one. This seed plate, is uh, pretty bare bones. One of the advantages though, is that because it's small, it's easy to kind of like put away. So you could put it right here in your bucket for whatever reason, you're gonna expect to be going through a flamethrower or something like that, and you'll you'll survive. I mean, your seed plate will survive, maybe you won't survive, and your next of kin will be happy that when they pull your charred body, you'll still have your seed plate. If you go through a hurricane, you'll survive and you'll have your seed plate still on you. You can put it in your back pocket. Seed plates are important because if you just write your seed phrase on a piece of paper, guess what? Paper can burn in a fire. Do not write your seed phrase on your phone or something like that. That's just the dumbest thing ever. Do not write it on your computer. Now, the other thing I'll say about the seed plate that is unfortunate, I guess, is for those people who have a passphrase. So a passphrase is an extra set of characters. It can be even numbers. It can be several words. It could just be one word that is appended to your seed phrase, your 24 word seed phrase. And so this seed plate only has space for 24 words. And you're only going to have the first four letters of each word. So if you have a passphrase, then you're probably going to need to buy another seed phrase, a seed plate. Many people who are experts in cryptography say that you should have a passphrase that is about six words long and use the BIP39 words. Those are the 2000 or so words that most people that make crypto devices use to generate their seed phrase. That's the kind of the alphabet. Now, of course, you can make up any word, but human beings are not very good at choosing random words. But if you have a passphrase, you're not going to be able to squeeze it in on these 24 words. You're probably going to have to buy a second plate in order to pump out that. If you're storing some Bitcoin in there, don't put that passphrase on a piece of paper and then just or post it and put it on top of your plate. Because, of course, if the passphrase is not there, you're pretty much screwed. Especially, especially if it's a long passphrase. If it's like six or more words, forget it. You're not going to be able to recover it. So if it's if your passphrase is just one word, okay, fine. Then somebody can hack through that and you know they got their 24 words here and then they can spend a, a few weeks figuring out that extra word. So what's the bottom line verdict on this? I would say that overall I am very pleased with the price point and the form factor of this and the ease of use. So all those things, it does quite well. Who should not get it? Somebody who wants, who's got money to blow. There are some plates that are actually a lot fancier than this. So if you've got lots of, if you've got your Lamborghini already, then just blow some more money on getting a really sexy, cool uh, metal plate to bang out your seed phrase on. Cool. But for those of you who are kind of on a budget, who want something simple, nothing fancy, this will work well. Make sure that you really take out a ruler. You know, I thought of that I would be careful and in the end I wasn't. I sometimes would hit the wrong letter. And the reason is that the grooves, the, the lines, the etchings are very tight. And unless you take a ruler and make it just perfect, you might think you're hitting the letter R when in fact you're hitting the letter P or whatever. And then you might realize it later and then you'll have to fix it. Now, here's the good news is that you can, with this device, do a double stamp so you can hit it. The other thing I learned is that in order to do it, you, you can just hold it like this and do it with your own hand. You can just basically whack it like so 
and that will actually stamp it out. You don't have to need to get a hammer. So if you don't have a hammer, it's not the end of the world. So that's the kind of the good news, bad news, is that you can make mistakes. But the good news is that if you use one of these devices, you can get three holes in one little square. So that's the cool thing. So definitely use a ruler. And then here's the other thing that I really, really suggest you do is to then test it and review it. Put away your 24 word seed phrase and just take the seed plate and then try to read it and go up and go online and find the bit 39, the 2048 words and look each one up one by one and see if you could reverse engineer it based on just your seed plate. If you can do that, then you're, you're successful. And of course, you need to teach your inheritors or anybody else how to decode the seed plate because if they don't know how to read it, then none of this is helpful. And that, by the way, is my final message to you. By the way, this took the whole process took about one hour to bang out the seed plate. So my final message to you is this, that seed plates and these kind of security measures are very important. The problem is that most of the people who are investing in cryptocurrencies are relatively young. So they're below 50 years old. And they have, therefore, at least 30 years of projected lifespan ahead of them. And that's, again, projected lifespan. A lot of people will die in their 20s, in their 30s, in a car accident. A lot of people might die in a freak accident. You might be going backpacking and you fall into a river and you get sucked away or you get hypothermia and you die, or a bear hurts you, or whatever. There's a, a many ways that you can get hurt or killed in a freak accident. You could be a victim of a terrorist attack. So there's many ways to die suddenly. And the problem is that most people who are investing in cryptocurrencies have no inheritance plan. So they bang out these seed plates thinking, okay, well, if a wire happens, I'll be, you know, I'm just going to go check and I'll, I'll recover my seed plate and I'll recover my 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 word and even if i've lost my ledger or my cold card or whatever well what if you died in that fire and the only thing that survives is your seed plate and your mother or your spouse picks it up and doesn't even know what it is or if they do they don't know how to decode it so what if you have a passphrase then your seed phrase is not the whole thing and you need to know the passphrase in order to get more of your cryptocurrency or all of it all I ask you is, yes, take the measure to put your seed phrase on a seed plate, but then think about your inheritance and how, what will you do if next week you die? Who will, the hell, who will know about your cryptocurrency and how to access it and recover it? If the answer is nobody, you've got a problem and you need to solve it now. This is Francis Tapon encouraging you to wander and learn. Go to my website at wanderlearn.com and also become a patron at patreon.com slash ftapon. Follow me anywhere on my uh, social media. It's always ftapon is my social media handle everywhere. And if this is helpful, give me a thumbs up and share and like and subscribe to this. Thank you again.